Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Vintage Story 1.19.5 Modded. Um, so there was a small tragedy, and that was that uh, I played for a little while, and I thought I was recording, and it was exactly the opposite. I was not recording. And so I'm, first I'm going to have to catch you guys up on what happened during that brief period of time. And then we will continue with today's game. Let us do so. So the first thing is, is that I fed Clyde the last time. Yes, I named him Clyde. My first cat is always named Clyde. I don't know why. I've never owned a cat named Clyde. Um, the second thing is that I used all the materials that I gathered to build the second floor of our place, which is going to have something other than this ladder, but um, I hope eventually to have uh, some windows in here. And the other thing is there was a pig who fell into the pit where we had Clyde, and so I took the uh, fence materials that I had gathered, and I put them around, and then I uh, gave him a way up and out so that he is now officially in the pen. Now, as to whether or not we're going to get anywhere with him, I don't know, but we'll see. And so, there we have it. Um, that's kind of where it all stands right now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go on down into the cellar, close that so Clyde doesn't follow us. Um, and we are going to grab a lovely piece of beef for Mr. Clyde because now that we've um, tamed him now we need to get his obedience up and we do that also by feeding him hey Clyde what are you doing dude there we go his obedience is up to 38.4% so soon we'll be able to uh, click him and give him instructions and he will cooperate all right so here we go as you can see i blazed through a bunch of our stone building that up there um i do want to adjust how we get up there but that can wait for a few moments um we have used up all of our wood in the process of building the roof liner. Because I put that layer of wood up there because I want to do a thatch roof for it. I want to do a thatch roof for it. Um, and that's going to, if, if we have just a plain thatch root, a lot of times the rain comes through that. And so I wanted to line it before we do it. But the last thing we had really talked about, is that a wolf puppy? I think that's a wolf puppy. Um, the last thing we had talked about is potentially jumping in the river and uh, taking a trip to go do some exploring. And I think I want to do that. I, I've been focused on cleaning up the blocks and doing some building and all of that and I didn't want to take off while Clyde was um, you know still in in his being tamed phase so my plan is to get some things tucked away first I gotta find room to tuck them away oh there we go that's what I was looking for our little raft I'm going to put those maple planks right there. I've got a little low fertility soil that I need to be rid of. But I've got my exploration Jones on. We're going to get our preparation done. I believe those should go in there. No, they don't. They don't. Okay. Um. Single aged. We'll move that out of there. Just making sure we've got materials. There we go. You go there. 
you do this and that way we can add that to our stack where's our stack there's our stack well, I guess one isn't a stack but two makes it a stack and we're gonna make sure and grab our rusty gears because um, you never know we might uh, run into somebody who has something good I'm gonna take this rope with me in case we need to make anything involving rope our smoking pipe is going to stay here and with that I think we're pretty much ready to rock and or roll I'm gonna uh, no probably would make sense to okay you really have to go thank you I appreciate you and you can happily go right there, but you're making me a little nuts. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. It's actually the ladder that's causing that. Yeah, no, I won't do that anymore. I'd put it like in a back corner, but we really don't have an appropriate back corner to put it in. We will, at some point, uh, that looks good, um, get some birch or willow or, or whatever twigs and make a basket we'll throw on our back. But for now, I just want to go into motion. Past the wolves here. Oh, that... Our calf actually grew up. There we go. The river will carry us and we are going to explore. Hold on. Is this? Oh, I've got a maple plank. Let's just convert that to sticks. There we go. I did not bring my shield. Go at the speed that the river wants to carry me here. And when we get a ways down, we'll uh, we'll hop out. We'll see what we see. Check the map. Huh? Looks like the ruins of a bridge in the river. That's actually kind of cool. I guess it's not a bridge; it's ruins of a church, actually. Let's uh, pop up the map. Okay, so we're now level with the village. Looks like there may be another village north. Yes, certainly looks that way. Question is, do I divert to go check out that village, or do I stay in the river? Now, we have a place here where the river splits. Yeah, that definitely looks like another village. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with the river. I think I'd like it to carry us a ways. Ooh. Okay. Get to this. Let me down there. That sucks. Because it won't let us get underwater with this. So we're going to go up ahead of it. Give us a bunch of seeds. Alright. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's really hard to do anything down at the bottom. Oh, 
yeah, I'm gonna have to gonna have to get this and get to moving. There we go. Alright. I couldn't figure out why in the world I couldn't get down there. So what did that give us? That gave us turnip seeds. I won't complain about turnip seeds. Let's get a look at the map. See what we have in the neighborhood. Okay, so we're headed out to bigger water. In fact, we're right at the point where this shifts. I wonder if that flows that in that direction. Nope, flowing the opposite direction. That's all right. We'll be able to go against it because this should go up and uh, take us near that village we spotted. We don't go all that fast against the current, but we can go against the current, and that's the part that matters. Yep, it is indeed another village. Well, let's go over there and uh, see what they have and possibly be less than socially responsible. Because <laughs> there are some things I need and they might have them. Normally, I tend to leave them be. I try to try to be the good one of the good guys. But the simple fact is, is that there's a lot that they have that they do not use or need. Interesting. Here we got stone build going on over here and we have got crap loads of birchy leaves I think this is a good opportunity to uh, get a few more sticks and make a basket from my back I believe 24 is sufficient to the task. All right, both hands empty. Shift and right click to pick it up. Look at something that it won't stick to. And shift and right click to put it on my back. There we go. Let's go see these people. That blue clay over here. Yes, it is. Hmm. I have to collect some of that. I can see you. Oh, 
it's like that, is it? I can see you. Got some healing from him. This other fool is. Grab the arrows he's winging. I can see you. Shoot him. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot. Ah. Oh. This is going to make me mad. That's going to make me mad. That's our crude bow, but we don't even have any arrows. All right, well. That's one thing about the river. It takes us there. So I'm holding shift spacebar and control, which will be the fastest I can swim without the assistance of anything. sure we don't miss anything here. Pick it up. Get it on my back. Probably just going to be his head. Yep. Could care less. Alright. He never made the villagers harvestable. Hello, my friends. Sorry to have... to tell you this, but one of your people is laying dead out there. Which means one of your beds is available. Five twenty-two. Yep, we got an archer out there winging arrows. Speaking of which, how many arrows do I have? Twenty-three copper arrows. <laughs> I can see you. There he is. Yeah, get up where I can hit you. Archer sounds like he's maybe over there. It sounds like there's two of them. Yep. Come on, arrows. Now it's a good thing we set our spawn point here. Shoots me and he runs away. Coward. I think I'm going to leave that sit right there for the moment. I'm going to leave that 
it sit right there for the moment. While we sort this out. Right, come on this way. Let's see. I think he's chasing a chasing a goblin. How is he? There he is. Hear you. I knew it couldn't take much more than one or two to put him down. Yeah, just his head. Don't want it. Could care less. These are the heavy duty deserters. They are the ones that hit the hardest yeah. yeah I can see you too Arrows back, we hope. I think there may be one more archer out there someplace. As I have my involuntary spasms. It's one of the dynamics of the game I absolutely detest. And it's very effective at communicating just how bad your situation is, but it doesn't change the fact that I absolutely detest it. If there is another archer, he is over here. So let's find out. Gathering spot. <laughs> Sir. Who's the leader of your village? We're going to find them. I'm sorry, ma'am. You guys kind of all look the same from the back. Now at least she thinks it's funny. Having slain your enemies and put my life at major risk, I regret to inform you that I will be taking my tax. I will be taking my tax. 